Hi, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas with San Diego Rover. It's October the 21st, and we just arrived on Santa Cruz Island, which is one of the northern islands in the Channel Island off of Ventura. And uh, the boat ride over was about an hour and a half. Uh, it was a pleasant day, a little bit of a swell, but uh, overall it was a nice, uh, nice ride. We're gonna go ahead and backpack into a uh, campground inland from Prisoner Coves, which is where we are right now. And I think it's about three and a half miles. Uh, we have to bring all of our water with us and tents and shelter and all of that type of stuff. So because of the water, we're gonna be pretty heavy today, but fortunately we don't have to go very far. And I think it'll be a really nice day. So if you'd like, uh, come along with us going to see a lot of nice things over the few days that we're going to be here. Uh, weather is really fantastic. It's a uh, little over 70 degrees, which is, I couldn't, couldn't ask for better, better weather. And um, so come along, let's, let's take a, let's take a little bit of a hike. Good morning. Uh, it's the day after the first day that we arrived on Santa Cruz Island, and I won't lie, uh, we probably packed a little bit too heavy, and uh, it was a little bit of a tough, uh, tough climb up. We actually came up, there's two ways to come up to the Del Norte campground. Um, one is the Del Norte Trail, and secondly, you can come up the road and come into the back end of the camp. So we uh, went ahead and picked the trail, which is shorter, but the trail does actually cross two, um, two steep uh, valleys. So uh, you, go, you get a lot of elevation, and then you drop down, and then you go back up, and then you drop down again, and then finally come back up to the, up to the camp. So uh, we're going to try the other way out, and we'll let you know uh, the experience there. But uh, we really overestimated the amount of uh, water and gear that we needed. It's been a long time since I've gone backpacking and pack. In fact, I'll uh, put a clip in here of a picture of me in my very young years uh, backpacking with an old aluminum frame pack. Um, the campground has four uh, sites, uh, one through four. We are actually in number four, which is the most shaded and wooded version. Uh, I would say if you're camping in the summertime, this would be absolutely the one that you would want. But if you're here in the cooler months, um, you might opt for one of the more open, open campsites. Uh, and I will um, take some pictures and insert them into video so you have an idea of what each of the campsites look like. Uh, no water up here. Uh, there are boxes though, so you can store your food. Uh, one nice thing about this particular campground is it has two boxes, which is pretty cool. Uh, there is a bathroom pit toilet above us, uh, probably 200 yards or so. And I'll give you a clip of that. It's uh, definitely very uh, primitive, but it certainly, certainly gets the job done. Thank you. 
we made it uh, down and back from Chinese Harbor. Uh, it was a lot easier going down than it was coming back. Quite a little, little bit of a grunt coming up. We're now at the intersection of uh, the Del Norte Trail and Navy Road. And we've got about uh, roughly about three miles back to camp. And then we're gonna just take it uh, easy the rest of the day. Uh, that's enough for one day. I think that the hike overall was about uh, just around eight miles. And uh, that's, that's good enough for me. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far and uh, we'll check back in with you soon. Well, Jeffrey, we did it. Good. Well, we haven't made it yet. We're almost done. We We're just finished a good our last night on Santa Cruz Island at the Del Norte campground. How are you feeling about this hike <laughs> back? Feeling good. Feeling energized. Had my double scrambled eggs. Yeah. Jeffrey had his oatmeal. It's a beautiful day. The marine layer broke pretty early, so we'll get full sun on the way back. Well, we've just arrived back at Prisoner's Harbor. Uh, today was about a five mile hike. We did take the back way out, which I don't think is any really easier than the other way. Uh, it does gain quite a bit of elevation out of the Del Sur or Del Norte campground up uh, above the valleys and then it crosses the ridges and it comes back down. Uh, so I think both ways are probably equally difficult. Obviously the uh, trail is shorter and probably if I had to do it again I would do that. Although it was nice to see a lot more of the island, we got up high enough to see both, uh, both, co both coastlines which was nice and uh, lots of downhill. So a couple of uh, tips I would have for you on uh, this trip is be sure to bring as much water as you can possibly carry definitely have some good shoes to wear and uh, enjoy. It's, a, it's really a beautiful island, uh, lots of really great hiking. Uh, certainly is something that I very, um, I've very always wanted to do, which I'm glad that I've finally done it. And um, I would highly recommend it to anybody. So it's Tuesday, October the 23rd. Our boat's coming in at about 2.45. It'll take us another hour and a half or so to get back to the mainland and then back to San Diego. If you'd like to know more about this adventure, please visit uh, my website, which is linked below at SD Rover. We'll have more photographs and some uh, other information for you, including links out to the Park Service and also Island Packers for transportation over here. Thanks very much for joining us, and I hope it was an enjoyable time for you, and looking forward to seeing you soon. Remember, get outside. <laughs>